and welcome back to the channel on this video we're riding around on the Lyric Graffiti and as we ride around I want to talk about another bike and that bike is the Frigo Shotgun F3 Pro and the reason why I want to talk about it is a couple of things uh, reasons one of them being that that bike along with several other of their bikes are currently on sale I just wanted to let everybody know that uh, the bikes are up to $700 off depending on which one you choose now I chose to talk about this particular bike because it's supposed to be their best one and it's the biggest savings seven hundred dollars off so first off the bike is regularly priced at $31.99 but they're selling it right now for $24.99 along with free shipping and the reason why I chose to talk about that one is because I think that one would be one that would kind of uh, be in competition with the Aerial Rider Grizzly, which I own myself. And the difference though between the two bikes, okay, they, they both have a thousand watt motor, so dual motor, but the difference is while the frames are different and, and the handlebars the wheel size is the same 20 by 4 but the difference would be in the uh, voltage whereas the uh, graffiti is or uh, not the graffiti but the grizzly is a uh, 52 volt the frigo shotgun is a 48 volt so a bit of difference there and the other one that would stand out is the battery they're both dual battery but the grizzly has a 15 volt and a 20 volt 52 or a 50 uh, 20 amp and 15 amp Whereas the Frigo has 220 amp, 48 volt. So you get more amp, but less voltage. I don't know what size controller is in the bike. I could not find that out. Uh, I would have liked to know how much the controller was, but anyway uh it looks like it only comes in one color as well the green it may come in more colors but all i saw was the green and it looked like a uh, tan colored seat this bike uh i'm hearing about it more and more about their company anyway frigo and several people have put out reviews on the bike I don't know of anybody that's had the bike for a very long period of time so I think once you get somebody uh, having a bike for a while like say four months or something like that three or four months you get a pretty good idea or a pretty good feel for the bike and uh, you can speak more of what the bike has to offer. So to do a decent review, when I've done reviews, I for a decent review on the bikes that I own, I like to, uh, you know, ride them for a while, and then you get a pretty good feel, and you feel like you can talk about the bike. And the nice thing about having multiple bikes and riding multiple bikes is you learn a lot more about e-bikes and what you yourself like and are comfortable with. 
Whereas if you only, if you're buying a bike for the very first time, you know, you're, even if you do a test ride, you're not test riding it for very long and you get a lot better feel for the bike when you've had it a while. So like myself, each bike I'm living and learning more about the bikes and what to look for. But even still, all the bikes I've owned have all been shipped to me. I haven't done any test riding beforehand, so you're still doing it that way, but maybe you can, uh, you know, learn a little bit from the specs on that bike and hope that the specs are accurate on the next bike you're buying. And, and it's, we're usually, I would say wanting to upgrade, right, from the bike we've had in the past to the next bike. Otherwise, you wouldn't want to change, probably, unless you had to, because the bike was no longer operable. But uh, anyway, uh, the Frigo, they have different ones, different models. But that one, like I say, because of the dual motor, I think if you've got hill climbing to do and, and and um, in your area then I think you'd want probably the dual motor to get you up those hills with no problem. But anyway, at $24.99, if, if I was comparing that to the Grizzly, which is $32.99, then, you know, that's a bit of difference in price right there. But the, the Grizzly, the Grizzly has been on sale lately, and I believe it's on sale right now this weekend again for $200 off. So that takes it down to $30.99, but even at that, that's $600 more than the Frigo. But the thing is, the Grizzly has been out a while, and so it's gained a pretty good reputation. So Frigo hasn't been around as long, and so they're still building their reputation you know they don't have the same pedigree yet anyway that aerial rider grizzly has but six hundred dollars i mean the differences are a 48 volt to a uh, 52 uh, i don't know how much that difference that is but it's a little bit anyway but you gain it in battery by having 40 amp hour instead of 35 so you do gain that it does have a full suspension the bike does weigh 99 pounds which is only six pounds lighter than the uh, aerial rider grizzly which is 105 pounds so You do get a phone holder as well with the Frigo. A battery charger, you get one. It does not specify how many amp the charger is. I know with my Grizzly, I got two chargers, but they no longer do that. They only give you one. And my chargers were actually five amp, which was pretty cool. Two five amp chargers, so it charges up fairly quickly. And uh, I'm gonna scoot across here. Uh, the payload capacity is 400 pounds, which is uh, pretty good. That's a pretty good amount. And the mile uh, range, they're uh, saying 44 to 68 mile range. So really the best test would be, and I don't even know if anybody has done this yet, I should check and see if anybody has, uh, they may have on, on uh, YouTube, uh, comparing side by side the Frigo Shotgun F3 Pro with the Aerial Rider Grizzly.
that would be uh, interesting to see. And it would all come down to which one do you like? Would you go with the one, the lesser known name and the cheaper cost? At least right now it's cheaper cost. At regular price, they're both pretty close. It's only a $100 difference, so. It looks like a nice bike, looks wise, I like it. But looks aren't always everything. With our looks, it's like getting uh, having a pie. We want a little ice cream to go with it. So we want uh, some good specs and, and results to go with it. So that's going to do it for this video here on the channel. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Thank you. And also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And if you'd like to leave a comment on this or any other video on the channel, just go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And don't forget, I also have a affiliate link with, uh, with uh, Lyric Cycles. Uh, so if you want to save $150 on any one of their bikes, just go to that link in the description for Lyric Cycles and use the discount code Oregon e Biker Mark, all one word. That's Oregon e Biker Mark, all one word. And that'll get you $150 off of any one of their bikes at Lyric Cycles. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.